Hey, what's up guys? Kool-Aid here. Today we're going to be talking about the Stalker Cloak. We'll go over the stats, do some comparisons to the Hunter Cloak as well, and then later on in the video we'll talk about some strategies and loadouts for Stalker that will hopefully increase your performance while using it. So the main thing to know about Stalker is that while cloaked, you can stop and your cloak will recharge without ever having to actually come out of cloak, basically allowing you to remain cloaked indefinitely. The trade-off, of course, is that in order to use Stalker Cloak, you will have to forfeit the use of your primary weapon. Weapon. So as you can imagine, this could make for a very different play style. At rank 1, which I believe is free for all infiltrators, even though it says 50 certs if you scroll over it, the cloak duration will be 12 seconds. It will take 12 seconds to recharge from empty to full while your cloak is not active, or 20 seconds to recharge from empty to full if you remain in cloak. For each additional rank of stalker that you cert into, it will add an additional 1 second to cloak duration, as well as reduce 2 seconds of in cloak regeneration. So at max rank you're looking at a 16 second cloak duration with a 12 second recharge whether you remain in cloak or not. So if you're to directly compare that to the maxed out Hunter Cloak, Stalker will provide you with four more seconds of cloak duration, as well as take four more seconds to fully recharge. They actually recharge at the same rate. The extra four seconds is just going to make up the difference of the longer duration of the Stalker. The big difference between the two is obviously giving up your primary weapon while using Stalker in exchange for having that ability to cloak for an indefinite amount of time. So when is Stalker Cloak worth using? There are a few different Different scenarios where I think Stalker Cloak will be beneficial. The first is for deep infiltration. If your main goal is to get behind enemy lines, hack as much stuff as possible, and just be a complete nuisance to the enemy, you know, Stalker Cloak is going to be awesome for that. If you're sneaky enough, if you can pick and choose the best times to pop in and out of Cloak, going in and hacking everything in an enemy base can not only be incredibly beneficial to your team, but it can also be a nice little adrenaline rush. I have a lot of fun doing this, and this kind of brings me back to my roots of Infiltrator, you know, when I first started playing the class before we had submachine guns, I relied a lot more on my pistol, and I did a lot more stuff like this, and it was a lot of fun then, and it's a lot of fun now. Another great way to use Stalker Cloak is for capping points and or being an information relay to your team. With the ability to remain cloaked indefinitely, it's incredibly hard to locate you if you're remaining stationary. I've often sat at a capture point for exp extended periods of time recapping bases while the enemy has absolutely no idea where I'm at. They know I'm there, but they just cannot find me. The only real counter to this is a dark light flashlight or somebody getting extremely lucky and just firing random bullets and you know getting lucky and hitting you. And if you want to use Stalker more aggressively, which I tend to do more than I should, you know, it's not gonna be as good as a hunter cloaked infiltrator with an SMG. Um, it's not really the intended role of the Stalker Cloak. But there are some upsides to using the Stalker Cloak like this. You're going to be able to pick and choose almost every fight you want if you're careful, of course. This will allow for some incredibly easy kills and shot knife combos. But also, the Stalker opens up more escape options as well. I don't know how many times after alerting an enemy, I've hidden in plain sight, waited until they thought they were clear, then I just picked up an easy kill. You don't really want to rely on doing that. You still want to use cover and trying to trick your enemy to thinking you ran away and all that, you know, escape escape tactics that infiltrators use. But the option to do this is there and you can't really do so with any of the other two cloak options. So just a couple key points to maximizing the effectiveness of Stalker Cloak. The first and foremost is patience. You're not going to run out of cloak, so don't get all gung-ho thinking you need to jump in and start firing at the first enemy you see. Picking the right targets at the right time is crucial. Second, and this goes hand in hand with being patient, but do your best not to take on more than one enemy at a time. You're using a pistol or a sidearm, which typically will come with a slower time to kill and or a smaller magazine, so taking on multiple enemies at once will more often than not result in your death. Number three, know your sidearm and its attachments as well as possible. I'll talk a little bit more about this in a minute, but knowing the strengths and weaknesses of your sidearm is very important. If you're using, say, a repeater, don't try to shoot at somebody that's 30 meters away, whereas if you're using a commissioner and maybe the situation arises where you would be able to take that shot, 
the commissioner might be able to handle that distance. Also, it's very important to remember if you have a suppressor on your weapon or not. If so, you might be able to pick off a person in a higher risk environment, whereas not having that suppressor equipped might not be a shot worth taking. And last but not least, crouch as much, much as possible. Crouching and remaining still are the most crucial elements to not being detected with any cloak, not just stalker cloak, but also you need to trust in your cloak. I promise you that unless you just shot somebody or somebody knows exactly where you are, 99% of the people that play this game will not see you in a crouched deep cloak state. So those are just a few key points. I didn't go over all the ins and outs, but I think if you can master everything on that list, you'll have a lot of success using the stalker cloak as an infiltrator. Now I do want to go over some loadout options. I'm just going to run through these rather quickly. I don't think I need to tell you that I'm going to be using stalker cloak for the suit ability. Um, for as far as pistols go, for a more behind the lines deep infiltration type loadout, you're going to want to go with any pistol you feel comfortable with that has a suppressor. Um, that means taking out the underboss and commissioner as an option. Now if you want to go more aggressive, um, want to try to use it more like Hunter Cloak SMG type of gameplay, then my number one and number two option would be the Commissioner, then the Underboss. The Commissioner is just going to be great for one hit kills to certain infiltrators, um, you know, with headshots, shot knifing, all that. It's just going to be the best option, in, in my opinion. Um, now, if you do use one of the other pistols, you are going to want to possibly run ammunition belt, depending on the pistol. If it's something that is high capacity, low damage, especially something like the Repeater or the Desperado, ammunition belt is going to be key to keeping them kill streaks alive. And this goes, of course, without saying that it did. It really depends on what base you're in as well. If you are in a base that has easy access to infantry terminals for you to hack, then ammunition belt might be completely wasted. I think outside of that, the safest bet is nano weave. Now, in most of these clips you're watching, I'm actually using advanced shield capacitor. The only reason for that is because when they refunded certs for nano weave armor, I did not reinvest into it on my infiltrator, so that's why I'm running advanced shield capacitor. But I don't think that's a great option with the stalker cloak because of the ability to cloak indefinitely. You can kind of cancel out the recharge delay time um, and just make that sort of a non factor. So, nano weave probably the safest bet. Depending on what gun you're using, you might want to run ammunition belt for the grenade slot. I would like to be able to recommend decoy grenade. Unfortunately, they still suck, and I would probably recommend EMP grenades. Frag grenades are not a bad option either, but EMPs are going to allow you to destroy enemy explosives, uh, enemy beacons, and hitting somebody with an EMP grenade makes for a rather easy pistol kill. So I like EM EM EMP in that slot. As for the utility slot, if you're going behind enemy lines, anti-personnel mines are awesome for this. They're not only going to cover your back while you hack stuff and you know do your whole infiltration thing, but you can use them more aggressively or in escape tactics as well. If you're being chased, lay one down, you can cut off somebody's route that they're going to use to get to you. So I really like them for the more deep infiltration. If you're going the more aggressive aggressive route, you can either go with uh, anti-personnel mines or maybe use med packs as well. The option's really up to you, just depends again on your play style. Um, now for the motion spotter or the re recon de detect device, it really again depends on what you're doing. For deeper infiltration behind enemy lines, I like going with the motion spotter. Not only is it going to give you that live real-time update on your enemy's position, but you can use it as a decoy in multiple ways. You can set it down on one side of a base go to the other side of the base and start hacking stuff over there or you can just simply set it down stay there cloaked wait for somebody to come try to kill it and then you kill them in the process so motion spotter for a more infiltration you know behind the lines oriented build if you're going for a more aggressive uh again using it more like hunter smg type loadout then the detect device is going to be awesome for that uh, but that pretty much wraps up the loadout one thing i didn't mention too much is the use of crossbows um really i don't like the crossbow that much i've had some success using it 
but to me it's more for open field type engagements I wouldn't want to use it in closer you know base uh, frantic situations you're you're gonna have to get them two shot kills on almost every target that isn't an infiltrator and you're just gonna get outgunned by almost everything so I look at crossbow as more of an open field type weapon and it's really fun in that circumstance but um, I think it's a little limited as well so anyways those are my loadout suggestions those are some of my keys to success when using the stalker cloak if there's anything I left out or if there's anything you guys want to know from me further feel free to leave comments or questions in the comment section and as always guys thanks for watching I'll talk to y'all later